People will look at it and go, well, I've never seen anything Billy Joe does to beat Canelo. I know I can beat Canelo. You beat some good names, you don't duck anybody. I know about that, bro. I'm on the fence. Canelo's path will cross. I'm on the fence. If I get in the ring with him, then no one's ever done. Yes, yes it's going to be hard. I'm not on the fence. I know I'm leaning for Canelo. I'm not on the fence. I'm leaning for... Um... Canelo, you know, I am disappointed in Avni Yildirim. You know, I'm sitting here watching the fight, tired, and I'm wondering to myself, okay, maybe he trying to set up something. Maybe he on some Mikey Garcia shit. Maybe he sees something, you know, but he just was there like he was a punching bag. And how much did he think he was going to, like, what was his game plan? And then I'm more disappointed because, you know, I'm half black, half Irish and half Mexican, but I found out that I have a little bit of Turkish wolf blood in me. So he let me and the culture down. Anyway, May the 8th, 2021, no location is known yet. I wouldn't be surprised since Texas is open that they head down to Texas. So Canelo Alvarez, WBC, WBA Super, Ring Magazine, 168 pound champion, 55, 1 and 2 with 37 KOs is going to be taking on Billy Joe Saunders. 30 and 0 with 14 KOs. Current WBO 168 pound champion. Now, I'm a big Billy Joe Saunders guy, but we got to be honest. He ain't do shit the last fucking. Look, let's go look at it, right? The Martin Murray fight was long overdue. This Corsairs guy almost beat him until he got the KO. She fat. Isufi, that says enough. Charles Adamu, that says enough. And then David Lemieux. Now I understand, you know, he's been having some issues. I was really looking forward to Demetrius Andre fight. But boy. Ain't nothing here. Willie Monroe got punched in the nuts by his son. The Arthur Alcaval fight was in a YMCA. I remember doing a post-fight video on that fight and had Billy Joe Saunders losing that fight. By the way, you know what I find hilarious? So, before we move on, I guess, we're going to talk about multiple topics in this hour-long stream here. Um, Canelo versus Saunders, of course. Avni Yildirim aftermath. What happens with the Canelo versus Saunders winner? Likely Caleb Plant. Tiafimo Lopez, how he's flirting with the shelf from top rank. The joke of a pay-per-view that's supposed to be Andy Ruiz versus Chris Ariola and people shilling already. Pacquiao versus Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia couldn't hold his tongue. But you know what? Let's go back down memory lane. I find Billy Joe Saunders to be hilarious. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of that shit... You know, people going to be like, yeah, it was immature and everything. And sometimes he do be on some bullshit. But for a, for somebody who's a character, I'll give you, this you know, and has the ability to, to, to sell a fight, I think he can do it. You think he going to talk some shit to Canelo? Here, watch this. Let's go back down memory lane. Take your time out, please. Subscribe to the video. We're just getting started on T-Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Remember this? Well, I'll give you this crack. Yeah. Right? If anything happens to you, you're not going to say, oh, please, please, that place. No. Please, please, please. Right, listen. Right, listen. Let me tell you one thing. Before I give you this crack, 
I'm going to give you it. Yeah. Are you going to tell anyone I'll give it to Nobody. you? Nobody. I'm not going to tell anybody. Swear, swear in your granddad's swear grave. Swear in your granddad's grave. And how much do you need this crack? I need tell me the truth. Quite a lot, yeah. How much do you need it? Quite a lot. I thought you was on top to start with. Him. That's why I said that thing about boots, but yeah. 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 Well, listen, I'm not on top. I've got crack here. Yeah, I know. If you want it, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Leg to do the side of the door. No, no, no. Very convincing crack deal. Yeah, that's the other deal. Yeah, right, I'm going to give you 150 quid's worth. Can you sing? Hey, can, can you sing? sing? Not very well. <laughs> if I was to give you 150 quid's worth, would you yeah. him off at the side there? Now for it. If you give it me first, yeah. That's how it works with things, isn't it? That's how it works with You want more than for 150 quid worth? What? You got more than that. No, no, she ain't. She, what's your name? How old are you? Somebody remind me again. Who is that in the back? Whoever that is in the back really wanted some pussy from a crackhead. Who is this in the back that lost the plot? Oh, no, she ain't. She, what's your name? How old are you? That's my real name. 37. Oh. Really? Sex name. Sex name. Right, I'm going to give you 150 quid's worth. Uh, yeah. Policeman, policeman, policeman. No. That's a you policeman. Oh, he's, yeah. a policeman. Yeah. he's a policeman. He's a policeman. First, yeah. Can you sing? Hey, can you sing? sing? Not very well. <laughs> if I was to give you one hundred and fifty quid's worth, would yeah. you him off at the side there now for it? If you give it me first, yeah. That's how it works with things, isn't it? Yeah, that's how it works with. You want more than for one hundred and fifty quid worth? What? You want more than that? No, no, she ain't. She's, what's your name? How old are you? That's my real name. Oh. Thirty-seven. Really? Sex name. Sex name. Right, I'm going to give you 150 quid's worth. Uh, yeah. Policeman, 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 policeman. That's a policeman. Oh, he's a policeman. He's a pedophile. Punch him in the face and I'm going to give you 150 quid's worth. Punch him in the face. Go on, I'm going to give you it right now. Punch him in the face. Go on, he's a pedophile. Punch him. I gave you a pedophile, mate. I gave you a pedophile. I'm not f***ing. Oh. Hang on, mate. Oh. Oh, he's not a pedophile. Sorry, mate, I'm going to mess up with somebody. Sorry, I gave you a pedo. Sorry, sweetheart. Sorry, I heard you're your pedophile. Sorry, mate. I'm very sorry about that. Yeah, people deserve that. Somebody said, somebody told me you was a pedophile. Oh. Drive off, drive off. Somebody that looks very much like you, mate. I know the shit's old, you goof offs. And didn't he get suspended or something happened? where he was on like a streak of doing pranks and got into some shit with the British Boxing Board of Control. But anyway, look into the 168 pound division. Right now, as you can see, Canelo has two of the belts. Remember, the Canelo's first fight at 168 pounds, super middleweight, was actually at, was actually at light Canelo super middleweight when he fought Chavez Jr. at 164.5. When he fought Rocky Fielding, he beat Rocky Fielding for a WBA underling bullshit belt. It was a bullshit belt. This bullshit belt that you see right now, PBC David Morrell has. I covered his fight, his last fight. When Canelo beat Liam, excuse me, well, he did beat Liam Smith too. He's running through the Smith brothers. Paul was around. He would probably run through him too. Um, Canelo beat Colin Smith, beat up his arms and shit to win the real WBA Super uh, World title. So he's the WBC, WBA Super World. By the way, my, web my website, fightview360.com. Our rankings are updated monthly in accordance with the sanctioning bodies, WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO. And yes, now we have the Ring Magazine rankings on our website. So once again, Canelo has two of the four major titles. The Ring Magazine, I don't really call it a major title. But it is a significant title. Caleb Plant, IBF. Caleb Plant coming off of a win against Caleb Truax. I've said multiple times in my videos that, listen, Caleb Plant, these guys like, I'm just doing it. These guys like Caleb Plant, all under the PBC stable. Caleb Plant, David Benavidez, Anthony Durrell, and you can throw Karan throw Karan Karan Davis in there because him and Anthony Durrell fought to a draw this weekend. Even though Karan Davis hasn't been talking shit, watch that up there. Get this out of here. So, I'm sorry, let me do something real quick. What's this? This is down there. There you go. Even though he hasn't been talking shit, he's still in that. 
So you got, and then and then if you think about Jamal Charlo, WBC middleweight, 160 pound champion, who's been flirting with the idea of moving to 168. You might as well say he's moving to 168 sometime soon. So when you think about Plant, Benavidez, Durrell, Davis, Ronald Ellis too, who, if you don't know, David Benavidez versus Ronald, Ronald Ellis is official and finalized for next week on Showtime. Jamal Charlo. If you think about all these guys, all these guys want to fight Canelo without fighting each other. And yes, if you don't know, Anthony Durrell lost pretty much his eliminator spot. Okay, Anthony Durrell fought Karan Davis, by the way. Karan Davis, who never fought at 168, by the way. The winner of that was supposed to fight the winner of Benavidez Ellis. And the winner of that was supposed to be Canelo's mandatory. But now I'm guessing the winner of Benavidez versus Ellis is going to be the mandatory. How does this work out? But either way, they need to be fighting each other. Like, what the fuck is going on? Right? Something is wrong there. Like, boxing is weird. Boxing has been on some, some real weirdo shit lately. 